So dealing with powers, there's really three kinds of things I think show up a lot. One is, for example, something like x squared times x to the fifth power. Another one that's very similar, except instead of multiplying the two together, you're dividing x squared divided by x to the fifth. And the final one is when you've got a power to another power, so x squared to the fifth power. So people tend to memorize rules for each of these, so one rule for each one, but we'll see today that you really don't need to do that. You can do all of these the same way. I'll go ahead and give you those rules as well, though, to make your life easier later. So let's deal with the first one, x squared times x to the fifth. So the way to see what the answer is here is just to write it out, right? x squared means x times x. x to the fifth means five x's, one, two, three, four, five. And once you've got that, right, you can just see what the answer is gonna be. I see I had two x's originally, I added five more x's, okay, that's seven x's, or x to the seventh. So already, right, you can see what the general rule is gonna be, because x squared times x to the fifth was x to the two plus five, or x to the seven. And that is indeed what the general rule will be. So if I have x to the a times x to the b for whatever numbers a and b you want, that's just gonna be x to the a plus b. Okay, let's go ahead and do a similar for the second one. So for the second one, a lot of people have a rule memorized where what they do is they take the top power two and subtract the bottom power. And that's correct, and it'll get you the right answer, but the problem is it may give you an answer that you don't really like working with, right? If you go ahead and do that, two minus five is negative three. And depending how comfortable you are with negative powers, you may not like dealing with that. So what I'm gonna show you is a way to do it that won't give you negative powers. Okay, so the way to do it is, again, just write out what it means. So x squared over x to the fifth, that means on top I've got two x's from the x squared. On the bottom I've got five x's from the x to the fifth. And what you wanna see now is that you can cancel some x's. So for example, I could cancel the first x on top with the first x on bottom, and I could cancel the second x on top with the second x on bottom. And a good thing to remember is that there's never nothing on the top, right? There always was a little imaginary hidden one there, so I can go ahead and write that one to make it look nicer. And now we're basically done, right? I can see on top I've still got my one and only my one. On the bottom I've got x times x times x, which is x cubed, or x to the third power. So there we go, that's the correct answer. And the nice thing with this is that you never end up with negative powers. So all you need to do is just picture having two x's on top and picture having five x's on bottom. And as you cancel them, how many are gonna be left and where are they gonna be left? So there's gonna be three left for us and they were gonna be left on the bottom, hence one over x to the third. I'll go ahead and give you that general rule though because I know people like to have it. So if you have x to the a, over x to the b for whatever a and b you want. That's just x to the a minus b. Again, that might give you some negative powers, but this is always gonna give you the right answer. Okay, let's go ahead and deal with the last one. So again, the last one, you can figure out what it is just by writing it out, right? x squared to the fifth power. Whenever you do anything to the fifth power, that means take that thing and multiply it by itself five times. So I'll write it out five times. And what we can see is the fact we can just use our first rule, right? Our first rule told us if you have x squared times x squared, you just add the powers together. So if I go ahead and do that, this is gonna be x to the two plus two five times, right? Again, just using that first rule. And a little bit nicer way to write this is x to the two times five right, because there's, I'm adding two together five times. So again, you can already see what the answer is gonna be, right? X squared to the fifth power equaled X to the two times five, or to make it look nicer, X to the 10. So again, what's the general rule? Let's go ahead and write it out. So if you have X to the A to the B power, that's just gonna be X to the A times B. And there you go. Now you know how to deal with all three of the powers that are gonna show up.